handsome, friendly, intelligent. There is no bit about him that says this guy is capable of murder. You think, really? This guy killed? It's incomprehensible. The scariest part about him is that he doesn't seem like a scary person at all. Christian Longo, he had been accused of committing a really heinous crime. He was just a regular guy. An intelligent, sane man comes home one night, kills his wife and kids. It makes no sense. It turns out I have one fan in the world, and he's a quadruple murderer. They finally took him down in Cancun. When they apprehended him, he said he was Mike Finkel of the New York Times. He went to Mexico, pretended to be a journalist, chose the name Michael Finkel, told people that he worked for the New York Times in this way that was so confident, so accurate, it was completely believable. The idea of nemesis, that young men, they often seek out somebody who becomes their great rival or the person by whom they measure themselves. I think Longo admired Finkel's writing. He, he read his, his stuff in the New York Times Magazine. And when he was suddenly in this situation where he needed to come up with an alternative identity, he didn't just come up with a name, he took on this whole persona. Why me? I followed your whole career. I've always found your writing appealing. I probably read everything you've done. I guess I felt like I knew you. He's sort of unreadable. He's full of contradictions, but is also a kind of mirror for anyone who meets him. I think what was needed for Longo was to be kind of charming and likable. James brought a real charismatic side to him that, that was absolutely necessary to make Longo work as a character. Mike, you are a good friend. Don't give up on me. This idea of like remoteness was something I really wanted in Longo, someone who felt like a deep river. There was something hidden there. And he's absolutely able to kind of take that on. He's very comfortable about holding things back. He has something very effortless about him, very naturally charismatic and charming. This isn't just about me. If you're covering for someone, you may think it's easier, but it will eat away. Christian Longo, I think, has a way of creating his own mythology about himself, and he rewrites his own story. I'm not sure Christian Longo deserves to have his story heard. Everybody deserves to have their story heard. Longo started his family at a very young age, but he had a lot of ambition. He tried to start a business and do other things, and it just didn't come together for him. If he'd been wealthy or you know, a smashing success, everybody could look at him and say, you know, there's a successful man. Who knows what he would have done. You think he's innocent, don't you? I don't presume anything anymore. Captain you had Oliver. a choice of so many stories to tell, and you chose his. Actually, he picked me. He didn't pick you. He used you. That maybe some people's motivelessness is what makes them terrifying. You seem to have no interest in telling me the truth, so why should I believe a word that you say? Our desire to understand these particular cases is actually our fear of accepting the awful truth. Sometimes the truth isn't believable. It doesn't mean that it's not true. The death of Zachary Longo, Madison Longo, Sadie Longo, and Mary Jane Longo. How do you plead? I think about them every night.